How to train a pit bull puppy to listen. If you have a pit bull puppy, you may be aware of a common misconception with the breed. Some pit bulls, like other breeds, have been trained to be fighters or otherwise mean dogs. But your pit bull is naturally a very loving and gentle dog. You can train him from an early age to listen to you and be a great friend and pet in your family. If you train your pit bull puppy now to listen to you, he will always look at you as the leader of his pack and therefore won't be the pup with the bad rap. Imagine the joy of having such a wonderful dog in your family from a breed filled with misconceptions. You can show the world in your community he is a kind, loving pet with manners and strong obedience to you. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. Defining tasks. Training your pit bull to listen to you will start with teaching him basic obedience commands and manners. While your pit bull is still young, another thing you will need to do during your training sessions after he has gotten his initial vaccinations is to socialize him. Getting your pit bull puppy around other dogs is crucial to teaching him manners and conditioning him to understand what your expectations are when it comes to his behavior. During socialization and obedience training, you should be teaching him basic commands such as sit, down, come, stay, watch me, wait, and general manners while walking on a leash or expectations when he is out in public. Starting small with a puppy works wonders in getting him to listen to you. Start by teaching him his name so he knows when you are talking to him. Other training like housebreaking will also leave you in command. Getting started. Teaching your little pit bull to listen will be an ongoing process. You will want your little guy to be rewarded and learn through positive reinforcement. Avoid any training that requires you to punish your pit bull. He will respond more with positive reinforcement and rewards for good behavior and good choices than with punishments. Anytime you can, turn a moment into a learning opportunity and reward him for learning, do so. This will require always having tasty treats on hand. The Your Pit's Leader Method Step 1. Basic Obedience Train your pit bull basic obedience commands early on. Once he's a part of your family, you can start with small training sessions. Start with sit and move to down before working on stay and release. These short training sessions will show him you are the leader and will tell him what to do with high expectations. Plan to offer lots of rewards to earn his respect as well. Step 2 Sit Hold a treat high above your pit's head. When you have his attention, move it back towards the back of his head and wait patiently. As he follows the treat with his nose because he wants to earn it, he will likely sit down. When he sits say the command sit and give him the treat. Practice this for a few weeks before moving on to the next command. Step 3 Down Put your pit bull puppy in a sit position because he is well rehearsed at this, and give him a treat for listening and obeying. Once he's in a sitting position, take a second treat and hold it to his nose, then bring it slowly down towards the floor. Once the treat is near the floor, pull it away from his body towards yours. This should lead him to stretch out and lie down on his tummy. When he's down, say the command down and give him the treat. Practice often. Step 4. Stay. Your pup should be between 12 and 14 weeks old when you try to teach him the stay command. He should understand sit and down and be doing those two commands easily. When he's in one of those positions use the command stay. Take a step away from him holding your hand up palm facing towards your dog and wait a moment. Give him a treat if he stays put and practice by taking more steps away over several sessions. Step 5. Release. Your pit bull will need to know when he's able to come back to your side. The release command will tell him when it's time to move from stay. Once he is in the stay position, show him a treat and use the word release. The treat should be enough to motivate him to move. When he does, give the treat. Keep practicing this command so he understands when to stay put and when he can move freely. Step 6. Rewards. Be sure you are rewarding your pit bull puppy with lots of tasty treats while he's training. These will give him positive reinforcements and remind him as long as he is listening, he can earn rewards. Step 7. Advanced. Once your puppy has these basic obedience commands well understood and is doing them consistently by command, begin to teach him other, more advanced commands such as watch me and wait. The start with the name method. Step 1. Name the pup. When you bring a puppy home, especially one with such a strong personality, the first thing you will do is give him a name. Step 2. Train name. To get to your puppy to recognize his name, and when you are speaking to him, he'll need to know his name. Say his name and give him a treat. Do this several times while sitting with him. Step 3. Without attention. 
Once he's heard his name a few times and has earned a treat just for listening to you say it, try to get him to recognize his name when he's not paying attention to you. Start talking to him when he's not looking at you. Say his name and watch his reaction. If he looks at you and gives you his attention, give him a treat. If not, try again later after more practice. Step 4. Nose name. Once your pit bull puppy knows his name, start other training. Always use his name before teaching him anything to ensure you have his attention and he's listening. Step 5. Rewards. Always give your little guy rewards anytime he responds in a positive way to hearing his name. Use his name when you talk to him, when you need his attention, during training, and while on a leash. Be sure to have lots of treats on hand to reward him for listening. The Positive Attention Method. Step 1. Once home. As soon as you bring your pit bull puppy home, you can start playing with him and training him small tasks and commands. Start with his name. Reward him any time he listens and gives you his attention. Step 2. Name. Spend a few weeks teaching your little guy his name. This should be something you use often. Say his name in a calm manner when you need him to pay attention. Step 3. Commands. Once he knows his name, you can begin to train basic obedience commands starting with the easy command sit. Use his name often and reward him through the training. Step 4. Potty training. It will take some time for your little guy to be totally house trained, but take advantage of this training opportunity to remind him of your expectations and reward him when he makes good choices. Step 5. Socialize. An extremely important task in getting your pity to listen to you is getting him social with other people and animals, especially dogs. A social dog is a well-behaved dog. One who is not social might be cautious and not listen as well as you'd like. Step 6. High-value treats. Remember, the tougher the task, the better the treat. Be sure to reward your puppy with treats for his good behaviors and when he listens to you. He's more likely to keep listening if he knows he's getting rewards. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description.